Hey everyone, Dan Nunez here. I'm a local artist and Impression 5 has asked me to kind of mull over a solution for their sun sculpture that could go in tandem with the planet walk. Uh, the planet walk would begin at Impression 5 and this sculpture would be something that is to scale with the solar system and built out of a, mat a material that wouldn't easily get destroyed or um, weather. So, one idea I have is more pragmatic than anything else it would be to take sheets of foam and to make a hemisphere out of it that could be mounted to a brick wall um, I think that's kind of the area we're talking about putting the Sun sculpture and the Sun sculpture itself I believe is about two feet across maybe 20 inches I'd like to get that really nailed down and the way I could make this is by using sheets of foam so if I took uh, multiple sheets of foam and I was to stack them up then I could coat that textured surface with fiberglass and I've already got now a textured hemisphere that I could then go in and put a little more detail into after the fact. Um, I like the solution because it's so industrial it's not going to weather or biodegrade and I could do things like add wires and sheets of fiberglass uh, to make solar flares. It would look better than this but this is just kinda to get the idea down on paper. Another idea I have is um, to go a slightly different direction and use plexiglass. So what do I mean by that? Um, well, if you were to take multiple sheets of plexiglass and engrave them and then stack them one over another, you can end up with these things that kind of have the impression of a three-dimensional space, but uh, can be done kind of scientifically. And if you wanted to go the extra mile, you could edge light these and you'd get an effect something like this. So I imagine if you had um, layers of the sun that you were trying to depict, like I don't know if you've got the core or something like that, or, or the corona, I don't know the words, but they could be engraved and we could have demarcations kind of denoting the different layers and the different stuff going on. We could have something denoting the scale or in general just make something that has to do with light because I think that the sun, uh, it's important to us because it has sun, light, <laughs> and it also has warmth. So I don't know if we could get as crazy as having some sort of edge-lit LED thing or maybe have some sort of plexiglass uh, excavation so we could kind of like take a layer of plexiglass, stack it over another, over another, over another, and out of each successive layer you'd be excavating whatever the sun space would be. So you'd end up with this kind of sun in a box. And if you were to put an LED light in the center of that box that was powered, I don't know, by, by a solar panel on the roof, maybe that's clever, maybe not. Um, so yeah, I've got a few ideas, but those are the two predominant ones. Uh, one of them is to make the foam underlying structure and then to fiberglass over it and make it to scale with the sun and have a couple of flares on there. Um, it would be a painted object and I don't know if it would capture a lot of what the sun is, this dynamic surface that uh, exudes light and heat. And then the other one would be a little bit um, less conventional and it would be taking those layers of plexiglass and basically engraving it layer by layer. I have access to CNC machines and um, very reasonable rates and we can do a lot of really amazing things with them. So, Dan Nunez, signing off.